Hello folks and welcome to the Movie Mad channel. Nearly fell over. <laughs> it's James here. I was going to film my weekly watches as I've been doing for the last couple of Sundays but my computer's playing up and I can't seem to get the web page up so I just decided to change it and what we'll do this morning I'll film my weekly watches and get them up probably tomorrow but just now I will film my pickups and gifts that I have got over the last week. Now, what I would tell you about these is that usually I'd like to say I get more than a few gifts a week. Oh, is this my tea delivery? Yes. Oh, thank you very much. Is that the world's best father cup? Yes. That's not what it says, is it? World's greatest farter. <laughs> you should have got me one that says world's greatest father, which is the correct item, isn't it? Greatest farter, I mean father. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. So, thank you very much. Is this made with the good tea bags? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much, my glamorous assistant. <laughs> I am not your assistant. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Bye. So, oh, that's a good tea, James. That's not bad. Did you make that all by yourself? Yeah, good. Well. Thank you very much. Uh, what was I saying again? I was saying, I was thinking, I actually haven't got that many pickups this week, but the thing with that is, you know, just two movie, two movies added to the collection a week would be almost a hundred titles a year. And if you keep doing that for five years, that's 500 extra titles in the collection. And I very rarely only get two. So when I say I've not got that many, five, five. And I think that they are quality, quality additions to the collection. So first of all, we'll start off with the segment, as, as Roy says, that's uh, sponsored by Larry Boyd. He has sent me a copy of Air America on 4K. Now, I've watched this film recently, two or three times actually, and I thought, I, I really enjoy it, but you never see this on TV anymore. I don't think it's on any streaming service, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think it is. But I've watched it on a digital copy I've got from the DVD that I had ages ago, I think. But, when I seen it coming out on 4K, I thought that is one I do want to add to my collection. But you know me, being a budget uh, movie collector, I'd wait until it got to see X and it dropped to a little bit more within my price range. I think it I think it's twenty two ninety nine. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. So I see Larry very kindly sent me that. I'm just trying to see if it has Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision. But it doesn't say, does it? No, I don't think it's got Dolby Atmos or Dolby Vision. But I don't have any copy of that apart from the DVD, and if I no, have the DVD, I'm not quite sure where that is. Let me see if I can see my computer's playing up, so I can't really. I just want to see if my movie collector will load from that. Nothing's loading, I'm going to have to shut it down. So, in America, Mel Gibson, Robbie Dowdy Jr., Gun Runners. I'm thinking, have I say, shown this before? I just got a bit of deja vu there. Well, if I have, I'm really sorry, but it's worth a second mention. And that is Air America. So I'm glad this one also comes with the Blu-ray. Because I say, I've not got the Blu-ray either. And, that, and I say, a lot, of this, a lot of the companies seem to be, you know, not doing the blue 4K Blu-ray combination. So I do like that. So very happy to add that to the collection. So see what I mean about quality. That's going to be great, and that's a great, ad great addition. Next thing I picked up was I seen this advertised on Amazon, and when this first came out, I was again I was really tempted to buy it, but I didn't because again budget movie collector. But what uh, I was just about to say about the Air America and things like that is sometimes when you get to them in CX. But then they have the slip cover, they're not in as great as condition, so really happy to have that one brand new. 
And the next one I picked up, which I've not yet watched, for $9.99 off Amazon, I thought it was a great, great deal, is the limited edition release of Single White Female. This is a great movie. Jennifer Jason Lee plays a stalker who tries to assume the identity of Bridget Fonda's character. And it's just a great thriller movie. So when the, when that came up for nine ninety nine on Amazon, I thought that's a bargain. That's not going to be much cheaper than CX. I think it actually trades for thirteen, and they sell it for nineteen, something like that. So when that came up on that deal, it's great. And to get the limited edition one, because usually I might wait till the you get the next one, which isn't the limited edition. So very happy to get that one. Uh, it's got all, it's all packed with special features, high definition transfer, original stereo audio, audio commentary with director, Peter Broder, edited Lee Percy, and it's from, there's interviews from 2018 here, Image Gallery, it's, and as you know, Vindicator, you do get some packed releases, so I haven't watched this yet, I'll, I unseal these movies when I decide to watch them, but, uh, That is, I was going to say, so I'm not going to unseal it just now, because I don't need to. And I'm sure there's plenty of other reviews that show the booklet and things like that in there. So I'm just going to keep it sealed for now. I'm distracted because my computer's trying to load itself. <laughs> Next, I went on to Rare Waves uh, about 10 days ago. And the reason I went on to Rare Waves 10 days ago is that I got a wee message from James Millership. He has a youtube channel and he said to me check out rare waves they've got the new adventures of batman animated tv series for four pound 30 and that trades in for 10 pounds on cx now truth is i don't have any interest in that blu-ray so i went on there and i ordered two copies to trade in because it would cost me eight pounds 60 and i would get 20 pound of vouchers so again to pick up something that I really do want so I went in and ordered them but when I came to check it said £8.60 it goes £1.49 postage I'm like you know what I don't like postage I don't, I don't like paying for that especially don't like paying for it from CX and I'm not going to pay for it on Rare Waves so what we'll do is Rare Waves do a thing where if you spend over I think it's £11 you get a Free postage. So I thought I would have a look round in Rare Waves because Rare Waves has also got a lot of decent uh, Danish titles on there. One of them is Lorenzo's Oil. That's quite a hard movie to get and I like Lorenzo's Oil. So if you want to get that, check it out on Rare Waves. But there was a war movie that I quite fancied and it is... Uh, so it was... Wouldn't it be a, wouldn't it be a James video with it be dropping something with it? <laughs> So I, I picked up this one. It's Audie Murphy, Marshall Thompson, Charles Drake and Jack Kelly into Hell and Back on Blu-ray. I like war movies. This one was £6.30. So I added that into my uh, basket. I think it worked out at totally £14, something like that. But I actually had a reward from Rare Waves. So if you go into Rare Waves and you tell them when your birthday is, they'll give you 200 points. And when you get to 500 points by order and things like that, you get a £5 voucher. So my one just happened to come with that, that 500 points there. So I used that and actually it only cost me £9. Or it might just be over the 10, £10 and a penny or something like that. So I then got this and the two Batmans for, say, a tenner. Just over a tenner. And I traded the Batmans for 20 so I could get something else at CX, and I'll show you what I got in a second. Uh, but I added the at the same time, Audie Murphy, and to Helen back. I really want to get Helen in the Pacific, but I don't think you can get that on Blu-ray. That's really Marvin, isn't it? It's where they they land on an island and the Japanese soldier doesn't realise the war's over. So I would like to add that in the collection too, but I don't think you get a Blu-ray of that. Uh, so it says Audie Murphy, the most decorated American soldier of W, who plays himself 
in this gripping action-packed battle saga. Amazingly realistic war footage combined with true heroic powers, this compelling story of ordinary Texas youth with extraordinary bravery brings him unparalleled glory. So, an hour and 40 minutes. My computer decided to do something now. Uh, I just hope this has um, has English on it. I'm pretty sure it does. I might need to open that one and watch and see just for sure. I'm pretty sure that does. So I've not made that mistake again. So that is what I picked up. And I was in Glasgow for work on Friday. And I had a meeting until 1 o'clock. And then I could take my lunch hour. So I took my lunch hour. And I decided to go to the CX in Glasgow. It's not South Hill Street. I think it's Union Street I went to. But I'm going to be honest with you. That CX didn't have a lot of 4Ks. It had a lot of ordinary stuff. And they do keep some good stuff. But they keep it right behind the counter on the shelves. And I'm like, I can't see it up there. So I actually didn't end up buying anything. So I got the train back. Uh, went into the CEX at the uh, Edinburgh CEX on Rose Street. And there was one title in there that I picked up that I did want. And it was a £4 voucher. It was Michael Clayton with George Clooney. Now, I've seen this, but I've seen it a long, long time ago. So I can't remember much about it. And as I was in there, I was thinking, do I want this? Do I not want it? And then I thought about the CEX postage. If it turns out I do want it, I'd have to pay, spend seven to get it from the postage and there. So I thought, pay the four now, watch it, add it to collection if you want to do that, which I probably will. And therefore, you'll, you'll save yourself, see, you'll save yourself the postage. So got back. Done my, well, the finished my work, and I then decided the Batman's had arrived, so I decided I'll just treat them straight down to CX, get a twenty pound voucher, and I done that. And there has been one in there in the CX for a while that I've wanted to upgrade. And <laughs> yes, we hear you, Cookie. Yes, we hear your song. It's very good. Uh, so. <laughs> Daisy, will we just wait for Cookie's song to be over? I've got I've got a dog waiting for my cup of tea. Cause she likes to have my cup of tea when I'm finished. And I've got a bird singing. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's just drink my tea while we wait for him to finish. And then I'll show you what I picked up in the CEX. James, can you come and make Cookie be quiet, please? So you can't. He's, he's, he's otherwise occupied, he said. You'll get my tea in a minute, Daisy. It's my delicious tea cup of tea. You want to come on camera and shoot, see people? Well, we're waiting on Cookie. Right, come on in. We'll show you, we'll show you Daisy. Say hello to everyone on the camera, Daisy. Show them you're all waiting for my nice cup of tea. I think you need a wee haircut, don't you? Right. Oh, I'm just turning you around. It's okay. There you go. There you go. What should we go? Right. We're just going to persist with Cookie. We'll put you down. You can have the rest of my. You can have the rest of my tea. Okay. One more drink. It. A delicious tea, though. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's get back to what I was talking about. So as I was saying, Cookie. Right, sorry guys. I'm just going to have to give Cookie a bit of a distraction. As usual. Here, Cookie, have this breadstick. This will keep you occupied. Have some of that. Yeah. 
Then he go. <laughs> so as I was saying, I picked up this one. Now, is this one of my favourite movies? The truth of the matter is, it's been a long time since I've watched it. But I do like having the movies that I watch on the best possible format. It doesn't have to be everybody. But if this is in the CEX, I've just got a £20 voucher for spending £8.60. And the Blu-ray of this, which I had, trades in for 5 then that makes it an easy choice to upgrade. So I upgraded it for £15, but really, it probably cost me, right, so what's £8.60? So let's say I used my £10 voucher, so that's £4.30, gets me the £10, and the trade-in for the Blu-ray of 5 So it really cost me £4.30 plus my Blu-ray of the fifth element which this one actually comes with. Which is really good because the Blu-ray is in here. And again, it came with a slip cover, which again makes it an easier choice for me. I know a lot of people don't mind not having slip covers. The truth of the matter is I do like them. If I can get it with it, I'll take it. If, if it, would, it wouldn't stop me buying the movie, for example, in the CEX the other time, uh, they had the Ten Commandments, which, to be fair, I still haven't watched yet, but I really wanted a slipcover for the Ten Commandments because it looked really good. But when I seen it in the CEX and it didn't have one, I took it, but it just made this an easier decision for me, with the slipcover being there, in decent condition, having the £20 voucher, plus getting the 5 for the Blu-ray, and the Blu-ray being included. So I think that's how I shop on a a budget. So and it's got some nice artwork on this. I didn't know that because I haven't opened it yet. Again, you should always check your discs from CEX as well. So this is the this is the four K one. Absolutely perfect condition. Perfect condition. And the Blu ray. Again, pretty much perfect condition. So I added that into the collection for, I say, a grand total of £4.30 plus my Blu-ray. I could try to justify my upgrades, but I didn't really need to myself. So that will go on the sh that will go on the shelf. I just wanted to check if it had Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos, because again, that's another deciding factor for me. I think Dolby Vision beats HDR significantly. And when a movie's got that, it makes a, I think it makes a big difference. This one doesn't have it, but again, it wouldn't stop me buying it if I'm gonna if I'm gonna upgrade it. So I say I was gonna do my weekly watches, I'll probably do that tomorrow. Uh sorry it's not been done on Sunday morning, but my computer was giving me jip and I've got a lot of things to do today actually. I'm gonna do some cooking of getting some meal preps done. And I'm going to get that done now because my son wants to go, well, truth is I'm going down to CEX, but my son's got his skateboard and he want, he actually likes the, the, the pavement down there for skateboarding. So he's going to take up with me and skateboard while I have a look around the CEX and uh, look around the charity shop. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to leave you today with Cookie being a pain in the, pain in the rear, as you can hear. My dog drank all my tea. And me happy with the fifth element. So a lovely, a lovely Sunday in the White Law household. I'll see you next time. Thanks, folks. Oh, if you do want to subscribe, what you can do. <laughs> and uh, if you do want to leave a comment on anything I've discussed there, let me know. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you later.